Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how the new version of GH Launcher works. I have Rhino 5 and Grasshopper on my laptop and now I want to install GH Launcher. Okay, let's check what we have in the installation folder. As you can see, a new plugin called Import GH has been installed. This plugin helps us open that GH and that GHX files with several different ways. Let's see how it works. First of all, it's possible to open Grasshopper files directly from Rhino Open Dialog Box. In addition, it's possible to drag and drop Grasshopper files directly to the Rhino window. I think this method could be so helpful because I guess most users open Grasshopper files like this. But this method only works if the Grasshopper window has been already opened. But sometimes, especially when Rhino window is minimized, we couldn't figure out if the Grasshopper window is open or not. So it would be helpful if we could drop files directly to the Rhino. Obviously, if we select import in the file option dialog, we can open several Grasshopper files together. This plugin also makes it possible to use command prompt to open Grasshopper files like this. Okay, now let's get back to the installation folder. As you can see here we have a console application called GH Launcher. The installation automatically associates .gh and .ghx file extensions to this application. Let's see how it works. When we double click on a Grasshopper file, this program automatically run Rhino, load Grasshopper plugin and then open the file. The new version of GH Launcher could open our file directly in the running instance of Rhino. Actually, it is the most important thing about the new version of GH Launcher. This helps us open several Grasshopper files all in one instance of Rhino. It's also possible to open Grasshopper files in a new instance of Rhino instead of the running instance of Rhino. If you right click on a Grasshopper file, there is two different options. I explain how open works, but there is another option, open in new Rhino. When Rhino is already running, this option helps us to run another instance of Rhino and open our file. Thanks for watching. Any comment would be highly appreciated.